In fact, let's remind our viewers the kind of statements which have been made by Akbar Lone, which is why today he faces a plea where they are demanding that he must apologize and swear by the constitution as well in his written reminder. In fact, listen in to what he has said. आपने पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद का नारा भी लगाया क्या आपको लगता है कि ये जस्टिफाइड और सही किया आपने जो ये रिएक्शन में रिएक्शन में करते मैंने रिएक्शन में कर लिया जो कुछ मैंने कर लिया मैं अल्फाज वापस ले लेता हूं व्हाट्स इलीगल इन सेइंग इफ आई से फलस्तीन जिंदाबाद दैट इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड इन ऑफेंस इट डजंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट इन ऑफेंस इफ आई से um iran zindabad it doesn't come shoot any offense and for the fact that uh, it is india who has uh, given a title to the uh, pakistan nation most favorite nation so let me go back across to pradeep datta pradeep uh, as you've heard the roots of kashmir has said that they feel offended that these kind of statements would be made but more importantly what they have asked for in written for akbar loan to write that he swears by the indian constitution and this is ironical isn't it pradeep because he is a former parliamentarian someone who has sworn on the constitution as well that he's going to abide and uphold it See, whenever they have to sit on the chair, they will swear by the Indian Constitution. When they are in power, they don't swear by Indian Constitution. That time, they see Pakistan Zindabad. Exactly what has happened in case of Akbar Lone. Also, see, you rightly said this thing. That's what actually the Amitrana of Fruits of Kashmir have filed an affidavit all about. A person who doesn't believe in the idea of India, a person who doesn't believe in Indian Constitution, so he has no right, in fact, challenge one of those articles of the Indian Constitution that has been abrogated by the government of India. So, in what capacity you are saying that article should be given back and they should once again get a special status? that clearly shows that first you have to believe in idea of india that's one of the reason that even the solicitor general tushar mehta had said that he has to pre present an affidavit in the court that i believe in idea of india i do not believe in secessionism i do not support terrorism i do not say, want to say uh, pakistan zindabad again because if you keep on saying pakistan zindabad and that too on a day when there was a terror attack in the sunjo military station when our brave hearts were targeted many of them lost their lives they got martyred on that very day you are raising such a slogan and then you are unapologetic and see what kind of a bizarre and no such statement is given by your son even after so many years you don't have any kind of a remorse so such things are only going to encourage anti national forces and it should it will be like a setback for the and uh, like the pro india elements so that's one of the reason that they are saying that he has to apologize he has to apologize and apology should not be like verbal apology it has to come in the form of an affidavit inside the supreme court that is what actually the argument had been given by uh, tushar mehta the solicitor general and right. i think this is somewhere very Absolutely. important we'll have to wait and see if the supreme court takes cognizance of it it of course even the center has said that he must apologize for the statements he's made but let me go across to mr kavinder gupta of the bjp who's joining us here on the show mr kavinder gupta we spoken to akbar lone's son and he says he has absolutely nothing to apologize for because pakistan zindabad as per his son is not something which is barred by the law dekhi ye sach hai main us waqt speaker tha jis waqt akbar lone ne is prakar ke naare lagaye the baad mein unhone usse maafi bhi mangi thi जी. लेकिन विशेष बात तो ये है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट को ये तय करना चाहिए कि इस प्रकार के लोग जो देश विरोधी हैं और खास करके जम्मू कश्मीर की असेंबली में पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद के नारे लगाते हैं क्या उनकी जो पटिशन है उसको एंटरटेन करना चाहिए खास करके माफी के पाता है वो लेकिन मुझे लगता है कि उनको माफी मांगनी चाहिए अगर नहीं करते तो उनकी पटिशन को भी रद्द करना चाहिए मुझे ऐसा लगता है कविंदर गुप्ता जी आप तब स्पीकर थे जब उन्होंने जम्मू एंड कश्मीर असेंबली में नारे लगाए थे बैकिंग पाकिस्तान उनके अगेंस्ट कोई कार्रवाई हुई थी या उन्होंने बस माफी मांगी और उसके बाद वो एक्सपंज हुआ क्या हुआ था क्या प्रोसेस था तब उन्होंने आके कहा था मैंने उत्तेजित उत्तेजित होकर के इस प्रकार से किया इसलिए मुझे जानबूझ मैंने नहीं किया इसलिए उनको फिर माफ कर दिया गया था लेकिन वो हैपचुअल है इससे पहले भी असेंबली में एक बार वो गालियां निकालते मिस्टर अंसारी थे एमएलए उनके साथ झगड़ा हुआ और गंदी गालियां निकालते वहां पर उन्होंने उनकी आदत बन चुकी है परवाह ना करना और इस प्रकार की हरकतें करना तो आपको लगता है इस बार भी अगर वो बोले ही इज रेडी टू अपोलोजाइज क्योंकि आप बता रहे हैं कि उन्होंने पहले भी माफी मांगी है पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद बोलने के वजह से मगर उसके बाद ही इज अबिचुअल ऑफेंडर फिर से करेंगे वही आपको लगता है हाँ कुछ कहा नहीं जा सकता क्योंकि कंट्रोल तो उनका अपने आप पे है नहीं मुझे ऐसा लगता है तो जब भी होता है एकदम से बड़क उठते हैं और 
खास करके ऐसे जो सेंसिटिव मुद्दे हैं देश के प्रति उस पर ऐसी हरकतें करना यहाँ तो उनकी आदत है जानबूझ कर करते हैं ये कहा नहीं जा सकता लेकिन रूटीन मैटर है उनका थैंक यू सो मच कविंदर गुप्ता जी फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस हियर ऑन द शो